You are taking too much responsibility. And I am sure that is the absolute last piece of advice and guidance you'd expect coming from me as we're thinking about healing and transformation. Because so much of our transformational journey comes from taking responsibility. Responsibility for ourselves, responsibility for our actions, responsibility for our emotional responses. But it is actually possible to take too much responsibility. And when we take too much responsibility, what it does is it causes us to spend time and energy on things that we don't control, and it actually gets in the way of us creating healing and transformation. So today, as we continue our series on healing and transformational fundamentals, we're going to look at why you are taking too much responsibility, what the appropriate amount of responsibility is for you to take, and how, when we understand that, healing and transformation becomes so much easier. This is Gene Montrostelli. Welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 573, originally aired August 23rd, 2023. Hi, everyone. I hope this finds you well wherever you are and whatever time of day you're getting a chance to spend with me. Thanks for hanging out and doing a little learning and transformation. Today, we are continuing our series on the healing and transformational fundamentals. And the reason why these fundamentals are so important to me is because when we understand how transformation happens and how it unfolds, then we can leverage that knowledge to create true, deep, lasting transformation in our lives so that we can create the authentic lives that we love as we move forward. Now, as we have this conversation about transformation and we look at the beliefs that we have and how we transform them, for me, the most powerful tool, not the only tool, but the most powerful tool for creating that change is something that is called tapping. I use tapping every single day. I use it with my clients daily. It is one of the most powerful tools I have found, and it's super simple to use to create transformation in your subconscious mind. If you are new to tapping, all you need to do is follow that little red arrow in the upper right hand corner. It will take you to learn to tap.com and there you'll learn the basics of tapping. So as we unpack this series and everything else that we're doing when we're tapping, you'll know exactly what we're doing and how you can utilize this amazing tool on your own. My first engagement with this idea that we are possibly taking too much responsibility in our own lives came from when I was introduced, maybe almost 15 years ago now, to the idea of law of attraction. And for those that don't know, law of attraction is this idea that you can think and feel in a certain way, and by thinking and feeling in a certain way, what it does is it attracts the things into your life that you want, that you need, that create change, that create transformation. And I can understand how and why this concept is so seductive because we live in a really complicated world and the subconscious mind does not deal well with this idea of us not being in control. And so if we have a way of describing a law, a law of attraction that describes why things happen in the world, the world becomes so much more manageable. If I change my thoughts, I change my world. I don't like what's going on in my world. Therefore, all I need to do is to change my thoughts. And when I do that, my world will change. And I think that part of the reason that this gets traction is there is some truth inside of that. The way we think about ourselves and the way we think about the world does impact how we act in the world. If I think of myself as inferior, I'm not going to put myself out there. If I think of myself as competent, I am more likely to put myself out there. So my thoughts impact what's going on, but there needs to be action on the other side of it. And so as I was thinking about this law of attraction and the way that people teach it so fundamentally, change your thoughts, change your world, if it was really that simple, then every teenage boy would be dating a lingerie model because teenage boys are very, very capable of thinking very passionately about that particular outcome. And it doesn't happen to most of them. And I also think that some problems can come from this because what it does is it can create this sense of, like we're talking about now, over responsibility. Because if I think my thoughts create everything in my life, then if something bad happens in my life, it must be my fault because my thoughts are creating my reality. And the problem with this is, is that 
I live on a planet with 8 billion people who have free will. And there is no amount of thinking that I can do that is going to overcome your free will. Because if it was simply wanting something passionately, then no parent would ever have a toddler that is acting up. Because no parent alive wants their toddler to be acting up. And so it's important for us to recognize what we create, what we don't, what we are responsible for, and what we are not. And if you are watching this, you are a person who is thoughtful and deliberate and you want to create transformation, which means you are a great candidate for taking too much responsibility. And so let me give you a tangible example of where our responsibility starts and where it stops. So let's pretend for the moment you are in a house and you are in the living room of that house. And in the living room of that house, there's a giant pane glass window. And as you look outside, there are a group of children who are playing baseball. And all of a sudden, the ball errantly flies through the air. It goes through the window. It smashes the window. And there is now glass everywhere in your living room. Now, some people who teach law of attraction in a really fundamental way would say that you are responsible for the fact that that glass broke. You created that in your life. And I don't think that's the case. The baseball went through the window because children being children playing catch missed through the ball and it went through your window. So you are not, at least in my mind, responsible for the fact that the ball has gone through the window and there's now glass all over your living room. But that does not mean you have no responsibility. You now have responsibility for yourself and the way that you respond. Because if you go, oh, I have absolutely no responsibility over the circumstance, you start walking around the living room barefooted and you're walking all over the glass. So what you're responsible for is how you respond to what has happened around you. And I think this is really important because if I'm in a circumstance where I think I'm responsible for everything in my life, I'm going to spend a huge amount of emotion and energy and focus trying to figure out how I created that baseball crashing through my window. And for me, I think that is a giant waste of time and a giant waste of energy and a giant waste of focus, which is preventing you from creating the real change that you want in your life. And so I'm not saying that we don't want to be responsible. We really need to be responsible. But what we need to be responsible for are the actions that we have, the way that we feel, and the way we respond to what is going on around us. Because if I'm in a circumstance where I think that I created the baseball coming through my window, not only am I going to waste a whole bunch of time and energy trying to prevent that, I'm also going to spend a bunch of time and energy beating myself up because I'm so stupid for allowing this to happen. When I didn't allow it to happen, it was other creatures with free will that created something that is impacting me. And so once we start to recognize that, what we're doing is we're recognizing the place that we have control. Because if I want to create transformation in my life and I want to make a difference in my life, I want to be focusing on the things that will actually make a difference in my life. And so the places that we have control are the actions we take, the thoughts that we have, the emotional responses we have to what is going on around us. And so what I want you to do is I just want you to do a little tapping with me right now to help to recalibrate yourself and be present to that. Take a nice big deep breath and just tap along with me if you're available to do that. I recognize the fact there is a part of me that wants to take responsibility for my life and for my experience. And it is really good. And it is really important for me to take responsibility for the things that are my responsibility. I am responsible for my actions. I am responsible for my thoughts. I'm responsible for my emotions. I'm responsible to the way I respond to what is happening around me. 
But I also recognize the fact it is possible for me to take too much responsibility. To take responsibility for the things that I have not created. To take responsibility for things that are out of my control. And when I do that, I put myself into a position where I'm wasting time and energy on the things I can't control. And when I spend time and energy on the things I don't control, I'm stopping my healing. I'm stopping my transformation because I'm not investing it in the place that makes the most sense. I give myself permission to continue to take responsibility for myself and let go of responsibility for the things that are not my responsibility. And in doing that, it will be so much easier to create an authentic life that I love. Nice big deep breath. And it's just amazing how much lighter I feel doing that. Even though, obviously I think about this a lot, even though I already agree with everything that we're tapping on, there's a part of me that just wants to be responsible because I want to control the world because the world is safer when I'm in control. And so I hope you find that really, really useful. This is number 10 in our 10 part series. If you're watching this right now on the video on the screen, you will see a little link to the entire playlist where you can check out all of the healing fundamentals. Click on that, follow along, and it will create transformation in space for you. For tapping Q&A, this is Gene Montristalli. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>